welcome back to my channel. Anna here sharing another video from Anna's World, Blind with a Vision. And my vision for today is sharing with you about another uh, accessible device for the blind. Uh, maybe you are someone who is losing um, your sight, or maybe you are someone sighted. Maybe you click on my video by accident, and uh, you know someone that is going blind. Nowadays, we have a lot of um, vision loss due to macular degeneration or eye conditions that are related to age and very often you know people don't go totally blind and having low vision may I don't know be very confusing I, I only have light perception my name is Anna and I am diagnosed with retina pigmentosa and I know how it is to start losing your sight gradually little by little remember when I could see I used to make more mistakes than what I you know than the ones that I make now that I'm totally blind or I only have light perception I don't see shadows anymore but if you are someone sighted I invite you to stick around you might have a neighbor a friend or someone you might know someone that is going blind or you might be working with a blind population or you might live in a I don't know maybe in a location where there is no accessibility for blind people like for example Central South America a lot of my subscribers from Central South America Every time that I share one of these, you know, an accessible device, the comment is that, oh, we don't have those things here. And in my little uh, fantasy, fantasy mind, <laughs> I, I dream with, you know, I don't know, that there, you know, there are companies out there that create products that have sensors and they might hear about these devices for the blind and they might create something like this because you know, getting these from countries like the United States, Spain, Germany, or those countries that create accessibility for the blind. Getting these products um, to Central and South America is not always the easiest task. Uh, very often my uh, blind people in Central South America, they are able to get, you know, purchase these devices because someone came to the United States or they were lucky to have someone who uh, came and, um, you know they or they have family members who send um some of these devices but anyway what is this okay for my blind subscribers i'm holding a, a liquid level indicator it used to be called liquid uh, identifier years ago i have a video on my channel and i just shared that video on twitter whatsapp facebook and my spanish speakers they ask a lot of questions so i decided to update my video and share more with you i have a new uh, liquid identifier and it's a little tiny um, square that I'm holding with my uh, thumb and my uh, index finger, left hand. It's very small and on one side it's like a rectangle, a little thick rectangle. And one of the um, longer sides it has three little metal, uh, it's like a hook, you know those, I don't even know how to call this, this um, the sensors. And on the bottom of the little rectangle is one of those batteries, the nine volts battery, that thick and fat uh, rectangular battery, nine volts. Okay, so the little sensor, so the little, has those three little wires and, and two long ones and one on the middle is shorter. That's the, those are the sensors and you just put it on the, on the edge of a cup. I have a cup and I have a bottle of water. So I'm gonna show you if you're someone sighted and you don't never seen this. This is how we prevent um, from spilling water, coffee, milk, or any liquid wine. Um, and you know, especially if it's something that is hot and dangerous. And if you are someone who's blind and you have blind children, this is perfect, right? Or if you live alone, like I do. <laughs> and uh, I, I mean, it's not that we use this all the time when you, are, you know serving a drink just for yourself we use we are very used to use the finger putting the finger um, a little bit inside of the cup or glass um, and feeling you know the liquid when it's filling up but if you're doing this for somebody else if you're serving a drink you're having a party a reunion uh, and you don't want to do that to somebody else so here it is okay so the name of this is dual liquid level indicator why is it called dual okay i'm gonna show you why okay so i'm gonna open up my bottle of water i have a bottle of water you guys and i have a cup a coffee mug okay and someone um 
the Spanish um, sighted person asked me, How, if you're blind, I understand about the sensor or the liquid uh, indicator, but if you're totally blind, how do you know where to empty the water? I understand those questions are valid. Every question is valid when you're sighted because you don't know how we function. So our hands, you know, my hands is, you know, are my eyes. We use our concentration. We visually, mentally visualize things. And see, you know, my hands are my eyes. So I find the edge of the cup, okay, with my left hand. And then I bring the bottle and feel the edge. Now, once I know that I have, I'm aiming <laughs> the word to empty the water, I'll start, you know, serving the water. Now, without being concerned that I'm actually gonna spill the water on the table. So I'm gonna do it. All right. Okay, so it's, that's the sensor. I'm gonna continue serving so you hear the dual. Okay, that's why it's called dual. Why? Because the first time the sensor uh, uh, starts beeping, it's because the cup is almost full, not all the way, and the second time is almost to the top, very a little below the, 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 the edge. So there you go. That's the liquid level indicator. Very practical, very small, easy to carry. I was saying, why do you want to carry? Maybe this is not the noise that you want to make in a, at a restaurant. But for my Spanish video, I go like, huh, what about when we, you know, with the blind, we usually get together, go to eat pizza. And for those situations where it's just a group of blind people and they're bringing uh, a pitch of beer, sangria, and, and we just want to serve ourselves and we don't want the, you know, waitress or waiter to do that for us. We usually have someone that is low vision and they're usually the ones like, oh, like, okay, I'll do it. But sometimes they're a little slower <laughs> because when we can, I remember when I used to read for my friends, when I had low vision, I used to help. I would be the one doing it for the ones that were totally blind. But then when we have low vision, I'm pretending to see in the cup, you guys. When we have low vision, we think we can see, we can see, but then we can't. We, sometimes we make more mistakes. Uh, and when we to go totally blind, it's like we already have practice and we're faster because we're not relying on the side. We're actually using our senses, our you know fingers or hands, and it's easier, okay? So where did I get this? This I got this from maxiaids.com. I'll go ahead and include the link here, maxiaids.com. The manufacturer, manufacturer was uh, Ryzen. I just shared with you about my real labeler, the one that I use and uh it's from the same brand ryzen or company ryzen okay uh it's usually 14.95 special is 14 no 12 dollars and 95 cents 12 dollars and 95 cents not bad compared to the high prices that usually the products for the blind are very very expensive okay so this is economical of course this is the price for this one they have more expensive ones or more economical ones they have some that are seven dollars and 99 cents uh but with it i like the one i wanted to try the dual one dual indicator like it and they have more expensive ones or you can buy three three a pack of three for i forgot how much it is 30 something dollars or 30 dollars which is better than just paying the 12.95 uh, Maxi A's, they usually have a handling and shipping for $10 unless you spend $70, okay? But you can also find this on Amazon. Amazon is usually $5 for the uh, shipping. And then if you have the um, Amazon Prime, you can have it next day. And there are many other locations where you can find them, um, other locations. I like my Maxi A's. I usually buy things from there, also from Royal Institute in LA. Right now, it's different with the whole thing with COVID, but this is perfect. So if you know someone that is losing um, his or her side, this might be a good thing to do um, and not rely on always having someone serving you the drink. I know people that for years that they do not get in the kitchen. They do not, um, you know, someone has to do it for them. I had friends, a couple of friends visiting me from Mexico City about a year ago, a couple, and I had to do everything everything for them 
even serving coffee water even though my coffee maker is where you just put it put the cup there you just press you know push the button and the coffee is there <laughs> i had to serve everything every single thing and of course i wasn't going to use my finger because it was you know they're drinking their food uh so that's very practical and um you know maybe at a restaurant when you go and have pizza and whatever maybe i don't know maybe it's a location that is you're getting one of those big rooms and it's just for you or maybe it's noisy and people wouldn't even notice and for those companies out there this would be perfect for my blind people in central south america uh, you know as a as a way to help but hey everyone looks to uh, create revenue and money and i don't know but um it's not that this is critical but it's very helpful just the way um, it is to have a talking uh, thermometer like the one I'm sharing with you on a separate video, my real labeler, my talking calculator that nowadays we use, you know, the iPhone, but for those situations where we need a calculator and just do it quickly, it's, it's very helpful. So accessible te technology makes a big difference. And if you have someone in your family that is blind, this is a perfect present, Christmas, birthday, anytime during the day these are things that you know make us happy and they last um you know if they last uh, a long time so it's something that we're always using uh this is a perfect present i was telling my people my spanish speakers this is a present um and sometimes it's easy for you to research on amazon google find it and place an order and it's not that we cannot do it. Nowadays, we are so independent with the iPhone and um, uh, Androids and we can do it, but hey, this is uh, something that we like to get. I don't know, a talking watch, uh, liquid identifier, and all those um, talking things that make our life easier. Okay, hope this uh, video, is, you find it helpful. I also have this video in Spanish. So if you know anyone who speaks Spanish, Tell them about me, everything about me, and I'll see you in my next YouTube video. Adios. Ciao, ciao.